Welcome. In this demo, we're going to explore how to get started with DBT for Databricks to build data transformations and create a medallion lakehouse architecture. So why use DBT for analytics engineering teams working with Databricks or Fabric? While Databricks offers native tools like declarative lake flow pipelines, DBT shines by enabling analytics teams to do their transformations in a clean, organized, and decoupled way. It encourages modular SQL code with built-in testing, documentation, and version control, bringing software engineering best practices directly into the analytics workflow. So why should you consider DBT? If your goal is to empower your analytics team to manage transformations that are easy to maintain collaborate on and scale over time, then DBT is an excellent choice. It complements Databricks and Fabric by focusing on the transformation layer, helping teams build reliable and transparent data pipelines. In this session, I'll walk you through using DBT on Databricks to build, test, and deploy transformations step-by-step set within a medallion lakehouse framework that ensures clean and trustworthy data at every layer. So let's jump in and start building. Okay, let's begin by creating a new directory for the project. Next, navigate to that directory. And finally, create a new Python virtual environment. For dbt, creating and activating a Python virtual environment ensures that your dbt installation and its dependencies are isolated and consistent across machines, preventing version control, conflicts, and making your development environment clean and reproducible. For this demo, you're going to need to have Git and Python installed. You can also run the upgrade pip command, just ensure that all of your PIP installations have been updated, and you can run the version command to check the actual versions of your Python and Git. Okay, next, you can run the dbt core and dbt databricks pip install commands to install the core dbt framework and the databricks adapter so you can build and run dbt transformations. When we check the dbt version, we can see that it shows us that dbt core and the Databricks plugin is up to date. Great. Next, I'll run Databricks auth describe command to confirm my CLI is logged into my Databricks account that I'll be deploying my models to. In a previous video, I showed you how to configure the Databricks CLI to log into this, so feel free to check that video out again. Okay, this next command creates and starts a Databricks SQL warehouse named Serverless Warehouse with serverless compute and photon acceleration enabled, configured as a small professional tier cluster that scales between one cluster and automatically stops after 30 minutes of inactivity. The next command will initialize dbt and I'll give it a project name and call it dbt Databricks project. I'll choose number one for Databricks. Note that if we install the fabric adapter, it would also be available for use here. Next, I'll also need to enter my Databricks host name from the workspace URL. When it asks for a path, I can find that in the SQL warehouse I created by navigating to the Databricks workspace UI and then choosing the connection details, copy the HTT path, and paste it back in my terminal. Also, select one to use an access token. From the connection details again in Databricks, I'll navigate to dbt, generate a new token, and paste it back in my terminal. 
I'll also choose one for Unity Catalog, ensuring that I store my dbt models in an existing catalog containing data. This will be my Lakeflow demo catalog, and I'll create a new schema for the dbt models called dbt models. That completes the initial setup. All right, at this point, I'm gonna navigate back to the dbt databricks project, and I'm gonna run dbt debug, which tests your dbt project setup by validating your database connection, configuration files, environments, and dependencies to help identify issues before running the actual transformations. Let's take a quick look at the project folder that contains my dbt structure in VS Code and how it's organized. At a high level, you'll get a set of folders like models, macros, tests, seeds, snapshots, and more, along with model schema and project config YAML files. Since I'm interested in a medallion architecture, I want to organize my model into three subfolders source, or bronze, gold, and silver. The source schema YAML file reads my bronze source data from my Databricks Unity catalog, where I have sales and customer raw data. Silver begins to have some transformation SQL files and a similar schema YAML file, which contains metadata and definitions about the models. The SQL files in Silver do some cleansing of raw, bronze, sales, and customer data. DBT's transformation language is primarily SQL, enhanced with Jinja, a templating language that adds programming features like variables, loops, and conditions to make SQL dynamic and reusable. Similarly, in Gold, we have a schema YAML definition and I added some tests for uniqueness and null checks. And in my SQL, it's going to build out the dimensions and facts based on the silver data. Finally, let's look at the dbt project YAML file. It's the main configuration file for a dbt project, defining key settings such as project names, versions, database connection profiles, and directory paths for models, tests, and macros. It ensures consistent project behavior by specifying how dbt should locate and manage the project's resources and configurations. Now, I'm ready to execute the dbt run command, which executes your compiled SQL models in the correct dependency order on the target database, which is serverless, SQL data warehouse in Databricks for us. Creating or updating tables and views according to your transformation logic. Once it completes successfully, I can navigate to my Databricks workspace catalog and confirm that the new tables have been deployed in the specified schema. I can even check sample data at this point. Now this process has the potential to boost confidence in data quality, transparency, and really allows quicker iteration and validation for analytics engineering teams. We are almost done. I wanna show just a few more cool features for quality and governance. One is dbt test. dbt test runs data quality checks defined in my project to validate assumptions about my data, ensuring integrity by detecting issues like nulls, duplicates, or relationship violations in your models. I can add as many tests for my models as I need. And finally, we have the ability to generate and host dbt docs using the dbt docs generate command. dbt docs generates creates a static website documenting your dbt project by compiling metadata about your models, tests, and sources, making it easy to explore data lineage, descriptions, and project structure.
The docs can be served locally or via a hosted application. By leveraging DBT with Databricks in a Lakehouse medallion architecture, you can build trustworthy, scalable, and well-documented data pipelines that empower your analytics teams to deliver insights faster and with confidence. Thanks for watching.